Emily, wow, this is a surprise. May I come in? Yes, please come in. I didn't even know you knew where I lived. I know all kinds of things. Obviously, you have a maid. Yes, I have a maid nanny combo. Ah, I have McDonald's up here. <laughs> uh, can I get you something? Uh, tea or coffee or? I'm fine, thank you. So, this is the child. Yes, this is Georgia. We call her Gigi. And her mother's still gone? Yes, she's in Paris. All right, I'll come straight to the point, Christopher. Now, I have known you a long time. I watched you grow up. You are a charming boy, a weak but charming boy. And to be completely honest, I never thought much of you. I still don't. Wow, it's great of you to come by and share that with me. However, you have good breeding. You come from an impeccable family, and you love Lorelei. You've always loved Lorelei. You would have married her when she got pregnant, I know that. And you would have married her if that girlfriend of yours hadn't gotten pregnant with this. I know that, too. Lorelai's in a relationship now. Did you know that? Yes, I know that. He owns a diner. He's a divorcee. He's uneducated. He's not a proper stepfather for Rory, and he's completely unsuitable for Lorelai. My daughter's stubborn, but she's capable of greatness. And watching her settle down with a man who can hold her back from that is unacceptable. You, at least, won't hold her back. Okay, Emily, I'm very confused by this speech of yours, and Gigi needs to be fed. She's getting serious with this man. I've seen it with my own eyes. If you want a chance with Lorelai, you had better do something. And you had better do something now. Timing has never been your strong point, Christopher. You should see if you can change that. Goodbye, Gigi. Enjoy your program.